Um, hello. I have successfully connected to the 5G network. Uh, it still says that uh, I am still dropping frames just a bit, but um, try jigging, try jigging a lot and spazzing so we can see how responsive it is. Okay, so that's what I'm doing now. I just wave my arm like a, like a madman. You can see my you can see my green screen, right? When I'm when I'm waving my arm, you can see that the background is not real. Okay, so maybe as a side as a side project, we're yeah, like twenty two viewers. Now I have zero again. Yeah, I was really surprised. Like I was just starting. I was starting the stream and then suddenly I had like twenty viewers and I was like, this can't be right. Yeah, like I'm getting view botted. I'm getting view botted. Now I have zero viewers, so Twitch, please, please fix. I, I, I hope you guys don't mind the the uh, occasional uh, uh, whisper in the mic. So hello guys, uh, because I'm a, I, I, I think I'm a fan of that. So anyway, anyway, we are still a machine learning focused stream. So um, I really hope uh, the quality is better now, and it seems that I'm still. I still have some occasional uh, encoding overload, but hopefully it's uh, it's better now. So now that we have that fixed, uh, so for me it says I have zero viewers. So, but I usually have my view count hidden, uh, such that I don't get distracted because it doesn't matter how many people are viewing me, right? What 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 matters is what we're doing on stream. Uh, so let's get cracking. We started. Um, so we were at the overview of the co-laboratory. Maybe I can help you with your homework. You can just put me on mute. You can just uh, keep keep the stream on and put me on mute. It's going to be a short stream. Like I, I just wanted to explore the collab networks a bit. Uh, and uh, see what they were all about, right? I, I'm still lagging. See, I'm still lagging. I I see it on the preview. Maybe I should put the encoding down. Maybe I should put the uh, put the bitrate down or something. Maybe it's because it has to like channel high quality audio now as well. Would that be uh, a possibility that it has to? Um, Femi Nazi English homework. Would that be an, uh, like a? Because my it feels like my internet is really slow as well. Like pages are maybe it's this website, but so Greeny nine nine six says, "Hey, did you watch Ayn Goodfellow's talk of Gans? I'm thinking of learning Gans that way." Well, uh, no, I have not seen that video. So if you could link it, I would gladly watch it. Actually, um, yeah, it, it sounds really interesting. Uh, you should try using Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. Um, yes, I would love to do that, except for the fact that I'm streaming from a MacBook Pro, so that literally doesn't have an Ethernet uh, port. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get cracking on the collab, right? So we we are. Our goal is to get get a get a grip on what on uh, on uh, what the collab networks is. So we can use common operations such as temp file, sed, awk, grep. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, bash, cat. What is a magic? What is a magic? <laughs> awesome. We um <sighs> rich interactive outputs. All right, that's cool. I 
I really feel my stream is lagging. This is so annoying. I can see it. Like, I'm watching my stream on my other screen in my video preview. And I just see it's lagging. Like, like, a, like a bit sometimes. Yeah, we don't have Amazon. Uh, yeah, so I got it shipped from Amazon.de. Uh, get a USB to Ethernet uh, dongle. USB to Ethernet? What? Is, does, does that exist? Sorry. Uh, or Thunderbolt to Ethernet. Yeah, I kind of, maybe I should try using my PC. Uh, yeah, maybe I can team view in my, into my PC, right? I can use my PC and then I can team view into my MacBook uh, and then just work from that. That might work as well. That, that, that might be an idea. I might try that maybe later tonight. Um... Because my mic is working now, right? So that was actually so I wanted to do two I wanted to do like two things. Or you can just use Google Colab. Yeah, I just really like the Mac operating system. I just think it's like um it's just so rich in its command line output and stuff. It's really nice. Uh I have a, like a MacBook Retina Pro, uh like two thousand fourteen model, so it's really old. So it's like uh Yeah, I have like a Thunderbolt. Uh... Yeah, one of the outputs I use is for a Thunderbolt. Or you can use Ubuntu. I know, but I like Mac. I like Mac a lot. Um, so maybe I should head to like the head to the store, and get an Ethernet, or just get it from Google, right? All right. So um, rich interactive output, sure. Integration with Drive, I don't care. Commenting on a cell, I don't care either. All right, so let's... Uh, can we go up or can we go to another version? Yeah, I mean, I'm not Amsterdam-based. I'm from a town close to Amsterdam. But yeah, you can basically say I'm Amsterdam-based. For all intensive purposes. I honestly think it's my mic. I honestly think it's my mic that is causing the lag. That the audio quality is so good, it has to stream like... That it has to stream that much information. Because bef like, before this, I was able to just stream like without any problem, right? This is kind of, I don't want to say unbearable to watch, but I can imagine that it's very annoying because I'm like watching my, uh, I'm watching my stream on my other screen and it looks like, it kind of looks like it's lagging a lot. Uh, like I would be annoyed if, if I were watching this, I would be thoroughly annoyed. Well, maybe I'd, I'd, I'd bear it if the audio was not lagging, but, uh, is the, is the audio lagging? Is you think so, huh? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quit synergy then. Okay, so the audio isn't lagging, so that's uh that's good, I guess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go say fuck you synergy. Uh, and see if it's better now. It still feels a bit slow, but that might just be the... Okay, so, uh, let's, uh... Tell me if it's better now. I quit Synergy, so, uh, tell me if it's better. Maybe I'll turn down the bitrate. Uh, I'll turn down the bitrate a bit. 
um, and it'll be less, maybe worse quality, right? So what if I, hmm. So the model here is called Big Gan or something. Uh, and it is published in IL. Oh my God, I can see that I'm lagging on the, I can see on my other screen that I'm lagging. So, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry for the bad quality. I, I I honestly think it's the it's the mic that is causing the issue, right? Should I try plugging it? Uh, maybe I can stream the audio from a different source. Would that be possible? That I plug my. Uh, like it's either either my Wi-Fi. Pause the stream on other devices and disconnect from Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, sure. I'll put my own dashboard stream off then. Uh, let me grab a mouse because I quit Synergy. So I quit Synergy, right? So are you using I show you audio? No, I'm not. I'm just using the standard. I don't know what audio exists. Just standard audio, I guess. So I'll turn this video preview off then. So tell me how it is now. So, okay, now I really can't see. Now I really can't see anything. Um, my bitrate just shut up to four point something. And it seems to have stabilized now at 4K kilobytes per second. So it's better now because I... Because I turned, because I stopped my own stream preview. Okay, that is uh, that is a bit silly in my opinion, but okay, I'll uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, so let's uh, let's look at Big Gan. What is what is Big Gan doing? Uh, so we are gonna run this. Uh, we're gonna run this thing. Because I put my own stream preview off. Okay, that's crazy. So. Um, I don't like the fact that when I click, I start adding it, but okay, that's something I'll have to deal with. Uh, this de this notebook is a demo for the big GAN generator, big GAN paper. Uh, after connecting to a runtime, get started. So either uh, update module path, uh, click runtime, run all to run cells, uh, run all cells in order. Afterwards, uh, the interactive visualizations, if you run into any issues, all right, so you have to update Okay, setup. You probably can specify number of samples, truncation, noise seed, category. Okay, interpolate between big GAN samples. Okay, that's cool. And then you can. Has anyone ever read this paper about big GAN? Uh, probably not. So, what's this Harriet Watt University? I've never seen that. Is that kind of like a. Jewish university? It sounds... Is it American? US, UK. Edinburgh. Alright. Cool. Uh, Greeny says, I don't really know how to read such papers. Uh, so much math, which I don't get where it came from. Um, yeah, so no, I run into exactly the same problems, right? So my, my background, my formal background is in, uh, kind of like financial mathematics, um, and statistics. So I, I don't have the background, uh, I don't have the, have the background too, right? To do, uh, to do to do uh, like this kind of stuff. So that's kind of, so what you're seeing is like an honest person reading a paper from the first time and then um, like 
figuring it out it as he goes along right but you got to have some confidence that you do have the you do have the skills i mean there there will be stuff where you think like oh i really don't get this uh then you should write it down and try it again and again and again and you should maybe should ask some help on the machine learning subreddit or whatever right um but most of the things in deep learning and machine learning in my opinion or well i don't want to say my opinion but in my experience are just different words okay my stream quality is dropping again i just saw a dip to like three point three point something uh bit rate okay so now it's stabilizing at 3.5 3.7 all right so let's just start reading this and see where we get stuck right so despite recent progress in generative image modeling successfully generating high resolution diverse samples from complex data sets such as ImageNet remains an elusive goal to this end, we train a generative adversarial network at the largest scale yet attempted and study the instabilities specific to such skill. So they train again. Okay, so then we have to think like what kind of again, right? Uh, we find that applying orthogonal regularization to the generator renders it uh, amenable or amenable, I think amenable to a simple truncation trick allowing fine control over the trade-off between sample fidelity and variety by truncating the latent space. Okay, so in this single sentence or in these two sentences, it says, uh, there were a lot of words that are still vague to me. So we're going to have to write them down and we're going to have to, uh, we have to kind of like um, figure out what they mean. So our modifications lead, uh, lead to models which set the new state of the art, blah, blah, blah 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 and blah 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 okay so then we have inception score hey you will kill me and we have a fresh inception distance which are measures of how good things look right so we are gonna have to uh so this if you re if you remember if you guys paid attention uh this uh, is from the original GAN paper, right? It's a good fellow. We actually went through this. So we, we, we went through this um, We went through this formula where it, where it comes from, right? I'm more than willing to explain it again and again and again and again. So if you need any help with it uh, Let me know in the chat um, A lot of difficult words scaling up GANs images 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 analysis more nice images uh Discriminator, uh, math, 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 math. Uh, then we have a conclusion and a discussion. So um, actually, I, I do want to read the paper, but first I want to get like a collab working. Because uh, that was the whole goal of this, of this small stream, right? To get a uh, collab working. So um, let's start with the... 256 by 256 uh so update the selected module uh for different images and then hey you, uh you want to kill me i have a new mic do you notice is there anything is this is the audio quality better i sure hope it is like i uh i got this new mic and i think it's awesome um Okay, so I just enabled the preview on my computer. And I can see the bitrate instantly dropping. But now it seems to stabilize again. So it seems that the that the bitrate is uh is fine, right? Okay, um so by default we uh take the 256 by 256 uh and images from that. So that's uh a path. Um, and that oh, that's our timer. Okay, I just want to I just want to hit the run button. So before I take a break, I just want to hit the run button and, and like see what happens. So um, let's just say screw everything and just let's let's just run it. Let's just run all and see what happens. So we just ran all. Okay, we are running it. So. Hey, I tried ultra working. What do you do if you finish something early? Um, 
Yeah, that's a very good question. That's also the reason I didn't like altar working. Um, so in my super working, there is a, there is a, um, there is a, I, I have another, uh, category, which I say, so if I finish this task, what can I do? Right. So in super working, I don't know. I think you can break early or, uh, do some other stuff, but I think it's worth uh, thinking about, like, if you finish early, right, what can you do? Um, so I'll try to share my, uh, Google, uh, Google docs for, uh, super work. Um, so maybe you can try that out once and see if you like it. I like it a lot, so, uh, okay, so we just ran this, now we are running the, wow, what's this? Cool. I, oh, <laughs> your GPU is close to its limit, you will not be able to use, uh, any additional memory, currently 8 out of 11, would you like to terminate, uh, ignore, or maybe just manage sessions? Uh, <laughs> what? <gasps> that is crazy. Okay, so this is it, right? So this is the whole notebook. Um, so what we are doing here is we are... We are generating 10 samples. So we are generating, I think we are generating 10 samples. So these are fake, right? Or are these real? No, these must be fake. Like these must be generated. Look at, look at the, either paprika or. This, is this real or is this fake? It's fake, right? It looks crazy real though. I mean, some of them look crazy real. Um, so if I now, okay, so let's take the, let's slide this down to let's say five, maybe that's better. And then we, and then we set, okay. So the truncation is 0.4 now. If we set truncation to zero, let's see what happens. I wonder if it automatically re reloads. I highly doubt it. Uh, and then we just run it again. You can see that my computer has some trouble with that, right? My computer, uh, has some trouble. Okay. So, uh, we put the truncation to zero now and, um, they all look very similar now. Uh, they almost look identical. Uh, uh, so I don't know what the what the truncation parameter does, um, but it seems to vary, uh, maybe vary it or something. But okay, so if we now put the truncation to one, let's see what happens then. Oh, it okay. So so it updates automatically. So now, now we get crazy hamburgers. Uh, and the left one is a bit messed up, right? You can see they're fake. At least the middle one, I wouldn't be sure. But... Okay, so... Um, so let's put the... Let's put the truncation on point 0.4 again. So it's just standard. And then we uh, kind of stop that. We want to stop this. Want to set the noise seed to uh, maybe uh, okay. So let's set the noise seed to max. <laughs> restart runtime. Uh, restart runtime. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Uh, Line Decker 77 says the orthogonal regularization applied to the generator makes the model amenable to the truncation trick so that fine control of the trade-offs between fidelity and variety is possible by truncating the latent space. Yeah, we read that actually, right? We uh, read that. That's a part of the abstract, uh, which I completely forgot. Uh, so, uh, we did something wrong here. So let's uh, just rerun the whole notebook. But so, 
uh, I'm gonna take a quick break uh, in like five minute break. I'm just gonna make some tea. So hopefully you guys are willing to stick around and we can play around more with the collab notebook. But so far, they seem really promising, right? Yeah, so what you just quoted, uh, Lion Decker 77, if I just call you Lion, I, I, I hope that's fine. Um, that's like, li like literally part of the abstract of the paper. So that, that is like, it says it directly here. Um, so we find that applying, allowing fine control over the blah, blah, blah. Um, but we, uh, when we read that, when we read that uh, sentence, we came to the conclusion that there are a lot of words in that sentence that we don't understand, that I don't understand at least, such as orthogonal regular regularization. Uh, I have like I have a vague idea of what you want to do with orthogonal re uh, regularization, um, and the truncation trick is something uh, we have to figure out what it is, right? Um, and then sample fidelity and variety, we can think of something like that, but um, truncating the latent space. Uh, hey, see ya, Greeny. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick break as well. Uh, by truncating the latent space, our modifications uh, lead to models which at the new state of the art. All right, so let's see what the let's see what the model came up with, right? Uh, it came up with nothing so far. Here we are. <laughs> wow. All right, so the noise seed. I don't. Damn, some pretty pretty ass cheeseburgers. That's crazy. This looks so real. Um. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna let's open super work and let's write down what we did. Because we got the collab working, right? But can we use our own models? Can we build our own models in, 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 in this in this collab notebook? Or are we restricted to the models that Google has for us? I hope we can build our own models. That would be awesome. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I don't know why Google Docs is always so slow, like... It takes an it takes ages to load a single spreadsheet. Um, I don't understand why it's so difficult to load a spreadsheet. Like, probably there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, right? But like it's taking. It take it's taking way way too long to load a single spreadsheet like come on I don't want to be impatient I'm probably coming off as very impatient now uh It's having a lot of trouble reading a single... Oh, there we are. All right, so I'm going to keep it open. I'm going to keep it open. I don't trust Google anymore with, like... Uh, maybe I have too many tabs or something? I can't imagine that, uh, like, just some text is so difficult for the computer to process, but turns out it is. Okay, so the the purpose of this stream is uh, is to kind of figure out like collab notebooks, like what can we do with them, what are they used for? Um, can I start typing now? Please say yes. Okay, so we are here now. So what did you do this cycle? <laughs> Come on, almost there. Okay, we're here. So. Uh, wait, wait, we, we do a single search. We actually fought, we actually, uh, so we, um, we made some notes on, uh, collab notebooks 
Uh, then we ran the big GAN uh, model, 256 times 256. And we played around with the uh, parameters a bit, truncation and noise. We read the abstract of the big GAN paper. Any distractions? Uh, not really, but my computer is really slow. Things to improve next cycle. Um, uh, uh, yeah, lag, of course. So better internet. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to, in OBS, I'm going to make a quick uh, break. Uh, let me push this away. It's so nice. You can just push it away. You can just push the mic away. It's, it's, it's on a boom stick. So on a boom arm, you can just push it away. Uh, so I'm going to make a quick break uh, text where I can just overlay that. I can just say break. Very big. Uh, and then in Helvetica, and then I can do the, I can do an outline. Yes. So, uh, so I have a break, uh, and I'll be back in like five minutes. So tea break, let's make it a tea break. So, uh, let's make it a tea break and we will be back in five minutes. And while we are away, I'm going to keep this screen open. And so people think we are working on cheeseburgers. Okay, so uh, thank you all for joining in today. Uh, I hope I can entertain some people uh, by fiddling uh, around in, um, in, uh, in a collab today. Uh, we got our uh, first thing working. So we achieved our first goal. So that's really cool. And in the next session, we are going to fiddle around with this a bit. And we're going to look at what makes the big GAN paper so special. And we're going to especially pay attention to like, uh, we're going to pay attention to how we can, how we can use uh, the collab things for our own work. Right. So I think that is the most interesting application using the collab, uh, using the collab notebooks for your own models. Cause we want to, we, we want to make some small models and we want to train them. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go for now. I'm going to take a quick uh, break and I'll be back in five. See ya.
technically, I can mute my mic, actually. Uh, so, I have to send some text messages. So, one second. Uh, uh, can I plug this? Yeah, I can take this out. Uh, so, I'm here again. Almost. I'm just making some tea right now. Uh, let me see. Um, you can't always, <laughs> says Rainy Moo, did you get Athlete? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. So, thank you so much. I also got a new mic. If you can hear that. Uh, so, I got a new mic. That's really awesome. Yeah, I still have to do, like, the whole Athlete thing. Like, I have to... Uh, I have to, um, what is it? Uh, I have to like uh, get my PayPal and stuff uh, because I, so when I was younger, I played uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, like the trading card game uh, and I bought something from a Polish guy and he turned out to be a scammer. So uh, I blocked my uh, PayPal and I was too lazy to like unblock it. So um, it's still blocked, but it's still linked to my, act like my actual account. So um so yeah. Okay, I have to send someone s something. So. Uh, okay, so I think are we I I I think my five minutes are basically over, uh, so uh, I still have five viewers, so that's really nice. After that, you can make a subscribe button and you can earn money from it. Yeah, I know that's really cool. So people can sub. Oh, then I can can I have a sub club and I can put the chat in sub mode only, <laughs> or uh, follower mode only. Um, so yeah, so um let's start again i have a lot of stuff on my desk now so uh, Okay, so uh, we are back completely. I can remove the, I can get rid of the screen. So we're gonna fiddle around with the collab notebooks again. All right. So uh, so uh, what should be our goal for this, uh, for this uh session? Wait, I ended the session at like, like let's say fifteen, fifteen forty. Fifteen forty. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, so we played with the big GAN TF hub, right? Um, and, uh, now we want to, we kind of want to see, so this is in interpolating between the two, which is pretty cool. So if I double click on the cell to view the code. Uh, so let's double click on the cell here to see the code. So uh, double click on cell to view code. I don't see the code. Help. Why doesn't this work? I'm trying to see. Oh, there we are. So, uh, So, uh, sample says, 
truncation is truncation image show image grid whoa uh, okay so sample so the images is yeah so the function we want to so images are and we, we want to look at sample uh, and s ses is I have no idea what ses is it's probably uh, wow what's this uh, okay so setup so Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to look at this in uh, So I don't really know how tensorflow works, but uh, We should definitely learn that so is there any interest in uh, learning tensorflow together? Because um, tensorflow is from Google, right? Like there are many uh, There are many deep learning or uh, machine learning so we have TensorFlow. Uh, you have uh, Keras, you have PyTorch, right? So those are all machine learning frameworks that you can use. Uh, so there are many different, so maybe there should be one deep learning framework <laughs> We should make a new deep learning framework that is the best, of course. So I'm I'm still curious about the uh, about the audio quality. Is it significantly better, or is it like exactly the same? Or should I use my keyboard uh, microphone, or is this one better? Um, let me know. Like uh, I was really happy when it arrived, so. I hope it's uh, I hope it's good quality for you guys. So uh, okay, so Keras is a high-level API to manage existing experimentation. So TensorFlow, TensorFlow is Google's general machine learning that uses static computational graph. You define the model, you run it. PyTorch is a dynamic computational graph. Any number of inputs, and the model is modular, so you can debug parts of it at a time. Okay, so in general, there are two things you have. Um, so the backends are either PyTorch or uh, TensorFlow, and Keras is a high level API for TensorFlow. All right, so let me write that down because that is interesting. So, uh, frameworks. So we have uh, Keras. Keras is the high-level API for other libraries, such as TensorFlow. Then we have TensorFlow. It's Google's uh, machine learning library. Uses a static computational graph. I don't know what that means. So PyTorch is a PyTorch is a dynamic. You can have any number of inputs throughout the model and the model is modular so that you can debug parts of it at a time. All right, so that's cool. Uh, all right, so they probably both have their advantages and disadvantages, right? Okay, so uh, let's see if we can, uh, oh man. Um, so what do you guys wanna see now? Do you guys wanna see me fiddle around with uh, with uh, the paper or do you think it might be more interesting to um, to try and get something to working in like tensorflow I think that might be uh, that might be more interesting right oh wait let's try to uh, let's try and Google uh, if we can find a if we can find a fast neural style collab uh, fast neural style transfer collab 
because that is what is something that I'm really interested in, right? I'm really interested in uh, in the fast neural style transfer. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm also thinking uh, thinking about making YouTube videos, uh, like uh, kind of uh, educational, but also at the same time uh, entertaining. artistic style transfer so can we just upload like the fast style transfer can we upload that to um, would it be possible to upload fast style transfer to the collab book and then just run it from there would that be possible This is from Google. This is like official Google stuff. Um, so I think that I want to... I think they want to fiddle around with the collab notebook. I think I, I think the co collab notebooks are gonna be really helpful uh, for us because we don't have any strong GPUs available, like or a very big a rig somewhere. So let's see what we can do with the with the notebooks. I'm really happy with the mic, by the way. I'm really happy with it. I like, it feels very solid. It feels heavy. It feels... Uh, first, I had to kind of get get used to the arm, but... Oh, you can just push it away. You can move it closer. You can pull it up, pull it down. Yeah, it, it just seems like a nice piece of engineering. All right, so... Uh, we did all of this. And I don't want this notebook. I want the other notebook. Um, uh, let's is it this one. Um, so it's basically just an IPython notebook on steroids. Wait, this seemed interesting actually. This seemed rather interesting. Okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, so let's make a new notebook, I guess. Let's make a new one. This is not what I meant. I said, I want a new notebook. Hello? Okay, so my internet is still relatively slow, but at least the stream quality is, uh, is decent now, I hope. So if the stream quality is not decent, please let me know. Um, so uh, let's just search for a tutorial, right? So uh, easy collab tutorial, Google, Python. Um, there should be some, some hit, right? All right, the beginner's guide, Google collab, lean women in tech. So yeah, we are not, uh, we are not women, but we can still uh, click on the tutorial, of course. So TensorFlow, Keras. So we learned that Keras was the API, like high-level API. Uh, yesterday, we read some beautiful code. I think it was in the fast neural style uh, model where we had some beautiful code. On the free Tesla K80. Okay, okay, okay. So... Um, Okay, uh, thanks to KD Nuggets, this blog post was... Okay, so KD Nuggets is a very good uh, blog, so this must be a good tutorial. Uh, so improve your Python, develop deep learning applications. Um, that's really cool. Uh, okay, so let's scroll down very slowly.
Okay, so you go to Google Drive, you go My Drive, App, More, Collaboratory, Deep Learning Turkey, at IPython, Setting Up Free GPU, uh, GPU, CPU. And then you can run basic Python. <laughs> Women in tech makes me want to kill myself. Well, that's a bit that's a bit excessive, right? Okay, so you you have to. I mean, uh, it's uh it's a thorny discussion, but women are. I don't want to. So yeah, of course there are like two sides to every coin, right? I honestly I don't want to get into this discussion because you cannot win. Uh, but so there are two sides. Like one one of the sides is uh women are underrepresented and then the second side is like why are they underrepresented is it because they don't want to be or is it because like 99 percent of people in tech are male right so it it definitely is a problem like i talked about it like yesterday with someone and like uh like if a man interrupts someone it can be seen as assertive right and if a woman interrupts someone she can be seen as like it like it's 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 a double standard and then like double standard in the bad sense like it gets interpreted differently uh, and there are some real issues that need to be solved and the question is can we can we solve it or is it something that we constantly have to remind ourselves on right but there are definitely problems and i think they're good initiatives but I mean, opinions differ. So I'm, I'm just trying to get this to work, but it takes like a long time to load. Uh, so let's read the tutorial. So uh, let's, while this is uh, loading, we can uh, read, the, read the tutorial. So we start using Google Colab, then we use some basic data types, print type, print, 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 Python, blah, blah, blah. We can import, we can import files of so drive mount. All right. Um, uh, enter your authorization code, copy. You can now reach Google Drive. Okay, so now you're, okay, you can install Keras. You can upload this, you, uh, MNIST. Why can't it be everyone in tech? Well, uh, let's not get into that. I mean, I mean, if you just purely look at the numbers, right? Women are, I don't want to say criminally underrepresented, but they are underrepresented. And then we have to think very hard as a species on why that is. And if we want to solve it, and if we want to solve it, why do we want to solve it? Uh, how do we want to solve it, right? Like there are some professions where there are like 99% women and there are some professions where there are 99% men. So sometimes I think it's a bit, I don't want to say hypocritical. That's not the word. It's a bit weird that people want to impose quotas in some professions, but then not in others. Uh, that's just my personal gripe a bit, right? So 99% of the boilermakers are male, right? Um, so why don't we shoot for 50% there or... Um, like 90% of like oil rig workers are male. So why don't we go for, uh, 50% there? It's a, it's a, it's a very thorny, thorny discussion. And it's not a, it's not a discussion. I want to take a stance in, in all honesty. Stream is lagging. Hmm. Yikes. Big yikes. Uh, I hope it's fine now again. So it might be just my, like it's still loading, or is it, it says it's still loading, or am I mis inter, uh, like misinterpreting this? And can I now just type print hello world and shift enter or command enter? No, shift enter works. Okay, so I just have to uh, I just have to take um, be happy with the fact that it will always stay loading here, which is going to annoy me to no end, definitely. Um, like my computer is having a hard time my macbook its fans are whirring like crazy okay so i think i'm lagging now because my encoding is overloaded that's what it says
Okay, I want to follow this tutorial. I want to follow this tutorial, I think. Uh, shit. Where is it? I'm so sorry for the for the laggy stream. I don't know what's up with the internet. Maybe it's the new mic. I, I yeah, like it could be the new mic that the quality is so good it has to stream suddenly like way more information. Is it is it fine now? Like nobody's stream. Yeah, but I don't look. I don't have a I don't have a MacBook. Uh, I don't. I I I really like the Mac ecosystem, right? Um. And I don't know if I can program. I don't have my Vim. I don't have my Emacs on my Windows computer, right? So I like, I a little like, I can't program on anything else but my laptop. That's basically it. So maybe I can. So for the next stream or, um, yeah, I, I have to run in an hour or so to have like a food with someone. Um, but I might just stop the stream and then just do something experimental. Like um, I might try to go on my uh, desktop and uh, see if I can maybe like uh, team view in my Mac from there. And that might, um, maybe that works. Uh, but then I won't have a, uh, then I won't have a webcam because my webcam on my PC is really bad. Like that's another reason I am streaming from my, uh, from my MacBook because the webcam here is supposedly a bit better. So it says, it still says I have an encoding overload. Yeah, no, so, uh, yeah, so a bit, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just some small food. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's follow this tutorial from start to finish. It seems like a nice tutorial. It's an eight minute read, so let's try. Uh, let's go to Google Drive. Let's go to Google Drive. So, why can't you just use Windows? Don't tell me what to do. Uh, I hate Windows. Like, Windows is only good for gaming. Okay, that's, that's a joke. Like, um, like, if I'm developing something, I d definitely do not want to be on Windows. Like, I'm just not used to everything on Windows, basically. Like the most important things are my, all my bindings, all my Vim bindings, all my Mac Vim bindings, all my Emacs bindings. Everything is in Mac and like I develop on my Mac. Like, um, so trying to program something in Windows is just horrible in my opinion. All right, so let's go for a new why not Linux? That's a good question. I have tried Ubuntu and I don't know why. Why is Google so slow? Okay, maybe I should re rephrase it. Why is my computer so slow? Um, this is basically, I'm sorry that the stream can't be any more programming. The stream is basically more like uh, watching Jan's computer try to load web pages. Um, all right, so... Uh, we want to make a new folder and call it app or we can choose the default. So, uh, let's go to uh, collab notebooks. I honestly think that Google is really slow. Like it's, it's, is, is there not a lightweight version somewhere? Cause I really need that right now. Like Google's stuff is so slow like drive spreadsheets google chrome is really slow um like I, it's probably just my internet because i'm streaming right but it shouldn't be that bad i'm 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 so sorry for all the lag i really apologize like yesterday evening it was fine right yesterday evening we streamed we did um uh, let me recall we did fast neural style transfer uh and that was just fine and now I try to click on notebooks and it takes me like, okay, so there are like two things in the world that annoy me uh, and I'm not easily annoyed. Uh, the first thing is bad Wi-Fi. So bad Wi-Fi is something that annoys me to no end. The second thing are buses that leave early. <laughs> like you're on time at the bus stop and then you see the bus leave. And that is, I don't know, like... A bus should not leave early. So those are the two like two things in the world that I that I absolutely get annoyed at. 
like slow Wi-Fi, uh, well, slow slow internet in general, uh, and uh, and buses that leave early. So, uh, if you are annoyed at my stream, you are rightfully uh, rightfully annoyed because I would be annoyed at my stream. Um, uh, I would be like bad, like, like really annoyed at my stream. At the start, you sounded like such a millennial. <laughs> I think I am a millennial, right? I think I am. Like, <laughs> you mean with the with the Wi-Fi or with the buses? I think the, I think I started with the Wi-Fi. So, um, so open a collab notebook. Then we can change the. Okay. Oh my God. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it sideways. I'm gonna go like I'm gonna put this in the side here, and I'm gonna put this in the side here, or maybe the other way around. I love Google Chrome, but it hogs so much memory on your MacBook. It's oh my god! Come on, like I want to click this and I want to I want to go into this. So I want to open it, right? Open it with Collaboratory. All right, now I can uh, leave. Oh, you know what would be cool? If I could get a single sub, that would be so awesome. I'm afraid you need to download more RAM. I'm in the mainframe. <laughs> it's a Unix system. Oh, man, I love that subreddit. It's always so hilarious. Like, I love the scene at NCIS where uh, where the guy, I forgot his name, just pulls out the screen. He's like, what did you do? I just, I just pulled the plug. <laughs> download more RAM. Okay, so, okay, we are finally here, uh, and it stopped loading, and we have printed Hello World, so let's go, we can do this, um, uh, so, uh, let's alter the, let's alter the, uh, edit notebook settings, notebook settings, uh, and put it to, uh, let's put it, what's the standard, what's the default? No, it opens another page, stop. Don't open pages when I don't want to. Uh, look, look at my Mac. Like you probably because the mic is in this direction. So I put the mic in uh, in the cardioid uh, direction, which like has a 90, 90 degree cone. So uh, maybe you hear the hear the fan sounds a bit, but my mic is uh, my my MacBook is having like a lot of trouble. Uh, and it might be lagging now. I see I'm dropping 1% of the frames, which is a lot. So, okay. Change this to GPU. What is TPU? Does anyone know that? I'm scared to Google because I'm scared my computer won't be able to handle a Google search. So, all right, let's go to GPU. Uh, and then... We go to running basic code, access tree, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so now we are finally gonna get coding. So let's go and type, um, let's go and type from Google Colab import drive. Drive mount. Can I have VIN bindings here? So we got content drive and I'm not sure whether this is going to work because I don't know where the content and drive um, files are going to go, right? So I don't know where these files are heading. Uh, is it our Google Drive or is it like something else, right? And oh, now already I use nine gigs already. That's crazy. So I think honestly my timer should go anytime soon now. Or did I not start a timer? I must have started the timer, right? Oh, I forgot to start the timer. Uh, but let's say, okay. Uh, so uh, we started at 1540. We had five minute breaks. So now we are at 25 minutes. So that makes us another 20 minutes we have to work. So let's work for another 20 minutes. So enter your authorization code. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on control click. Um, 
and then we are gonna so uh, TPU is a uh, Google technology it's the hardware TensorFlow is optimized for so should I do TPU or should it do GPU it probably won't matter right Like, I want to make cool videos about machine learning. Uh, ow, ouch, I just cut myself. For YouTube as well. Um, but maybe my voice isn't the best for YouTube. Maybe I need to maybe I need to smoke more and uh, drink more whiskey, such, as, such that I get a buttery smooth voice. But at the same time, right, you don't really... Um, yeah, Google, take everything. All right, so let's copy this. Uh, I hope you guys are fine with seeing that. So let's paste that. And then we can run it, I guess. Or it's automatically gonna... Should I run it again? I don't think so. Um, and now let's type ls and let's go for... A oh, geez, that sound scared me. Uh, thank you so much for the... For the follow, uh, let me see who it is. Thank you so much for the follow, Dark Tower Builder. Have you seen the Dark Tower, or have you read the Have you uh, read the books? Is this is is not Stephen King, right? Or is it the Dark Tower? Uh, I think that's Stephen King. Okay, now now I kind of want to know uh, the Dark Tower, Stephen King, right? Stephen Stephen King Stephen King. It's with the cowboy. Uh, is it an American science fiction? Uh, Nikolaj Stephen King's novel. Yeah. Yeah, I read the beginning, uh, and I thought it was really cool. But like, I read the beginning, like beginning, beginning. I didn't get further. So there was this one guy in black. I think uh, there are seven books. Shit. There was this. Uh, so what? What I recall, like I stopped at page fifty or something. Um, so one guy is chasing another guy in the desert and one guy has like is like a black guy like he has like black stuff so if the if it's cool tell me um i really like fantasy i really like fantasy uh kind of like uh, middle ages uh magic and dragons and stuff uh game of thrones um so uh if you can recommend it to me uh i'll, tr I'll try again right so my my when I read a fantasy book, I always give it at least fifty pages. Uh, and if like after fifty pages, I think uh, it's not fun, or I don't want to continue that that badly, I just drop it. Like, but I I, I always try to give it some time because every fantasy is like you enter a new world, right? And you have to like uh, get a whole new. Uh, you gotta have to take like like take in all the world building, so to speak, and that takes some time. So you gotta. You gotta allow yourself that time to get into that world. I think so. The command is not working. Um, maybe because I should try running this. Let's try and run this. Uh, and uh, let's try running this again. I guess. Sure, I'll update it. Oh shit. Uh oh. Okay. Let's hope this is not a. Woo! Wait, what is this? This is my... <laughs> Oops. These are my... Uh... These are my actual files. Uh... So... Here we have some interesting stuff. Uh... We have a lot of nameless documents. We have a book, Evolutionary Game Theory. We have my Overwatch rank, because I'm a data nerd, so I like to track everything we have a book about radical honesty uh we have the last productivity book you'll ever need which i'm writing i'm writing a productivity book for myself which hopefully is the last productivity book you'll ever need um and here we have some economics papers which were about banks actually banks are really interesting if you think about it and here's the ultra working spreadsheet, which I don't use anymore, right? So, uh, like, banks are actually really, I don't want to say awesome, but 
they're 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 special banks are special right so in, in you can view banks as either like a company or maybe as an institution but they just provide a very like people hate on banks but they provide something that is that there's a lot of demand for people don't want to let their money lie under their bed I would get audiobook and just listen to it in the gym. In my opinion, it's a waste of time to just read it. All right, I'll try to. I'll try the audiobook. Okay, so we did this. Um, we don't have content to our own drive. Uh, uh, we can now go to our own drive, so that's awesome. Uh, then we can pip install Keras. So let's install Keras. Does this work? Pip install. So we install Keras. Do we have to do this every time? So. Let's install Keras and read on. Okay, now we want to upload the upload the mnist mnist cnn pi file to the app folder, which is located in your uh, in your Google Drive. So where do we? Can I now do make dear? So can I now type make dear app? Does that work? And can I now type Vim? This is a stretch. Vim not found. All right, that's a shame. Um, so, uh, yeah, how do I upload this in a Pythonic way? So, how do I upload this file in a Pythonic way? Um, because I don't want to go back to Google Drive. Is there like something nano? Is there any way I can edit text files in this thing? Okay, or I'll just go to Google Drive. Oh, thank you so much, by the way, Dark Bower, uh, Tark, uh, Dark Tower Builder. You're my 57th follower, so that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, like our audiobooks are the are you then reading something or are you listening or like is it still reading? Does it matter how you consume a story? Does it matter if if your if your father uh, or someone else reads you something? Is that the same thing as reading? Um, that's a good question, and I don't know the answer. Let's play a video game where we where we watch me open uh, where we watch me open um, things. So we are in the we are in the app file. Um, but we actually so we want to so he's in the app right but we want to be in the we want to upload it not in the what is it called uh not in the app folder but in our just in our own folder so i want to this is just a text file i hope so i want to right click uh save link as a pi file Yes, my computer is having so much trouble. It's dropping frames. It dropped already 1,200 frames. So I'm possibly lagging again. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Um, okay, I can try uh, I can try um, getting rid of my uh, microphone, my new one, and seeing whether uh, that might, uh, might be better. So I really hope you guys are willing to stick through me, uh, stick with me through the lag uh, okay this is cool so this is what we want right this is exactly the kind of stuff we want here it says trains a simple convnet it gets to 99.25 test accuracy uh, 16 seconds per 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 epoch so that's really fast really small it's 70 lines of code and the code seems rather readable. It has, uh, it has a lot of. Uh, so, so this is an official uh, thing, right? So, uh, let's uh, upload it. Um, so this is the stuff we're we're interested in, right? We're interested in seeing how we can 
get TensorFlow to work and then how we can edit that code and make our own models and especially uh, work on the neural style transfer. That is, I think, uh, the most interesting thing right now. So come on, open, 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 open. Yes, I can get also really annoyed at slow computers, um, but that's probably my fault. I'm clicking on, I've already clicked like 100 times on the collab notebook, but. <sighs> okay, calm down. We got it. We got this. Okay, I downloaded the file. I want to open the file. I click show in Finder. And then we. Uh, what's this? This is not the droid you're looking for. Um, so we could just go like raw, uh, let's get a raw, uh, get the raw file. This is a raw text file and it takes at least like five seconds to load. That is incroyable. Sorry for being so down. Um, it's just that slow computer is the worst. Okay, so we can now upload this. Please don't mind the daddy.mp3. That is um, something which I'm not ready to sh ready to show you guys yet. So anyway, the sound is not working. So okay, so drag and drop should work, right? Google is sophisticated enough for me to drag and drop a file. I hope. So drag and. You guys can hear that, right? So maybe in the meanwhile, while we're waiting for my computer, I could do some ASMR. <laughs> I could, I could like, like, or something. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. Um, so, okay. We uploaded that. We're going back to the, to the, to the tutorial. Um, let's keep this open for the time being. Uh, and we tried opening Vim, uh, but to no avail. Uh, we tried making a directory uh, to no avail either. Uh, all right, so um, now we can run it. So this is this is the okay. I'm not gonna copy it. I'm gonna type it. So Python three. Then we're gonna go to content drive my drive. And then app and then m n i s t underscore c n n dot pi. So this is gonna uh, okay. So let's first before we uh, I want to see what it does exactly. So uh, I think it's this one. So before we run the script, I'm curious to see what it does exactly. So. Uh, so it trains a simple thing. Uh, we set some parameters. Uh, no, wait, it starts at main, right? So if name is main. So there is no main. So we are just running it from top to bottom. Um, so we uh, import some stuff, import some more stuff. Uh, then we uh, put batch size, num classes, epochs, input image 28 by 28. We split it to uh, test and train set. And then if backend, because the backend is uh, is uh, imported as K, is channels first. Otherwise, uh, something else. So this has to deal with uh, reshaping or something. Um, so the axes, we are forcing them to be floats. And then we are normalizing them by 225. Interesting. Very Pythonic, I guess. Then we trade some shapes, convert class vectors to binary class matrices. Do you guys remember when we were trying to get the Keras utils uh, to work? I think that was stream uh, stream two or three or four. And we tried to get the two, two categorical function to work. Um, but we had to install an old version of Keras and it, it just didn't work. So what this function does is it takes... Um, 
it takes the it takes like a number from nine from a zero to nine and it, and it, it turns it into a uh, into a one hot uh, encoded uh, thing. So we have a sequential sequential. Uh, okay, so sequential sequential model. Then we have we add to the model a uh, conf two D with uh, thirty two. Uh, thirty two stands for. I don't know. It's probably the size or the amount of layers. I'll have to look that up. What is the first argument for conf two D? So I can Google that, I guess. Then, so we add a conf layer. We have uh, another conf 3D layer, max pooling, dropout. Then we flatten, then we do dense. I don't know what dense is. Then we add a dropout layer and then we add another dense with an activation of softmax. So, so then we compile the model with a loss, categorical cross entropy, optimizer is uh, ADA delta, metrics accuracy, and we fit the model. We fit the model, model fit XY train batch size for both one validation data. So 32 filters, really? Oh yeah, okay, so we trained 32 filters. Uh, yeah, because we did the, we did confidence, right? So every filter gives a gives a single feature map. Uh, so thank you for reminding me. So the code here seems really reasonable, right? The code seems really, uh, yeah, seems really nice, and we should try to write it ourselves. Uh, but let's okay. So let's first let's first run it. Dense is just a densely connected layer. What does that mean? A densely connected layer. Shit, it can't open file. Uh, huh. No, so, okay, of course, because we are in the, we're in the wrong, f we should have collab. Ooh, and now we have a space in there and I'm not sure if Python is gonna like spaces. I don't think it's gonna like spaces. Okay, it's fine, I guess. So interesting stuff, interesting stuff. So we're doing stuff. Well, technically we're following a tutorial, but so we're using 11 gigs. We're using the Tesla K80. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have Epoch 1. Epoch 2. So it's training. It's training ETA. Okay. So loss is 0.25. It goes down to 0.009. Can I make it a bit bigger? Just a bit? Epoch 4. Loss goes down as well. The value. Value loss. Uh, dense is every input connects to every output with a weight. Does that, does that mean dense? So dense just means fully connected? Every input, dense is the layer that groups features into classes. Uh, yeah, so in the end of the confident we had like, we had a neural network, right? Uh, if we, if you remember the stream there, we first extract the features with y y using filters, and then at the end you throw in a, uh, a fully connected neural network. Um, Okay, so training is almost done. Super awesome, super cool stuff. All right, so uh, test loss is 002389. That's very little. Test accuracy is 99.22%. So that is pretty cool. Um, so downloading data, it has how many data points? It has like fucking 11, 11 million, but it takes 60,000 samples. Validate, so train on. So that's actually a really good, like I, 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 I would love to
Oh, that's our timer. I would love to see the um, the things that are misclassified, right? Bye, Green. See you, man. Uh, I really enjoyed having you. Uh, hopefully, you'll tune in to, to the next stream. Uh, you followed me, so uh, you get a heads up when, I, when I'm online. Um, oh, oh, you're going to a test. Okay, man. Uh, good luck. Um, use that short-term memory. Short-term memory is real. Like, use it. Like, uh, take your book and, like, uh, up until the last second, until the test, just keep studying. That's what I usually do. I mean, short-term memory is a real thing. Another... Another tip, uh, just write down everything you know the moment you get like a paper handed to you. That's not cheating. Next stream when? I don't know. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow midday. Um, yeah. Probably. Sorry for being on such an irregular schedule. I apologize. Uh, so, uh, good luck, man. I really hope you do well. I uh, hope I was able to take your mind off things a bit. Um all right, so uh, let's write down what we did because we actually got we okay. So we can be proud of ourselves because we got a collab notebook working, and that is awesome. So sixteen forty. So uh, we forgot to fill this in, but I mean the goal could be to like uh, get a get a collab notebook to work. I guess uh, we forgot to put that in, but um, okay then. I mean I can't really fill this in anymore. Um, but did, did we complete the cycle? Yeah, we did. So what did we do this cycle? We actually, um, so in all seriousness, it's not our own code, but we trained a simple convnet. So this is what new machine learning is, right? So we trained a simple convnet and it's not our code. I have to repeat that, but we did train one. So it's on our GPU. Well, our GPU, it's, it's on Google's GPU, right? But that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So. We can now, for example, change the pool size or the dropout, and then it really becomes our own model, right? So, um, is there any way I can edit the file? So, okay, so let me Google. Is there like a Vim in Collab notebook? I'm, I'm pretty sure someone already was has uh, asked the same thing or any like text editing possibilities. Uh, maybe you can. Is there, is there any way to use Vim key bindings? Permanently have uh, neat tools. So I'm dropping frames again. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> look at this guy. So Google Colab is an amazing tool, but the only thing that keeps me from using it more is uh, the absence of vim key binding so you so you don't use like the best uh the best thing in the world because it has no vim key bindings that's a uh, dedication um so we could be proud of ourselves uh i think we can be proud of ourselves um because we trained a convnet so we 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 trained a convnet using google's collab and that's really awesome in my opinion any distractions yeah i was a bit on whatsapp um things to improve next cycle you guys tell me oh stream of course yeah the internet like stream health like uh stream health i guess maybe consider uh streaming on uh windows not sure So, um, thank you guys so much for this quick stream. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna have to go soon and uh, not yet. So I'm still have, uh, like, so I, I kind of don't want to debrief myself yet because I might continue streaming in the evening. Right. So, uh, I might continue streaming in the evening for, uh, some more hours. Um, so I'll probably, uh, be streaming from like, I don't know. 5 30 again but so we'll have to get, go like uh, and take a take a break so do you guys suggest that i that i keep the stream on or do you guys should i put it put it put it off like i i have to take a break for like one hour now uh to do something 
Did you know I can mute the mic? I can mute the mic. There's a button here in front where I can just press it. So I'm going to press the mute button now. So I just clicked it again and now my mic is normal again. So, um, so yeah, I got a new mic today and I'm really happy with it. Um, the boom arm is really cool. Uh, it's from, it's from Blue Yeti. It's a, uh, it's a Blue Yeti, it's a Blue Yeti, uh, Yeti caster. Um, the, like the build quality is really good or at least, I mean, it's probably all really cheap material. It, I, 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 I doubt it's real metal. Maybe it is, but it feels like it feels solid. And I hope the audio quality is uh, significantly better than um, than before, right? But at some point, I pulled like 20 viewers with like the worst audio. So hopefully you guys uh, don't mind too much. Um, so yeah, sorry for this impromptu stream. I should probably stop doing them, but... Sometimes I just want to fiddle around with something. I want to, and and then I'm like, why don't I stream this? Maybe someone else is interested, or maybe someone else wants to hang out, right? So, um, I'm I'm so sorry for these uh, kind of impromptu streams. Uh, we I think we can um, we can check Reddit for a uh, for a bit, right? So let's see if there are any any interesting things on Reddit. If my internet is uh, is uh, willing. Okay, no, let's uh, fiddle. So I, I I have to I have to go soon. So let's. Uh, what happens when we change the? So we can just add more stuff in here, right? So this is the model, and we can change the model. We can just change this kind of code and then see. And then see what happens. So, does anyone know what the state of the art is for, um, like, what is the state of the art for the MNIST data set? Like, MNIST data set. Like, how do you even, how do you even decide what the state of the art is? Is there some person that has, like, test data that is unreleased somewhere? Or... Like, the state of the art is probably even better than... You can take the dropout out. Yeah, maybe I should, right? Okay, so let's take the dropout out. Okay, so Lion Decker. So I want to know how do I... How do I easily edit... Um, how do I easily edit this? Can I, like, SSH into... Can I, like, SSH into this thing or something? Like, I, I, I want to edit this, but it's so slow... Uh, I just want to edit it somewhere, uh, but not in Google Drive. Um, or maybe upload it through the terminal because it's so slow. So let's see. The MNIST data set, um, one paper, an error rate of 0.23%. Where we ended up with uh, an uh, with a error rate of... Uh, 0.8 or 0.7 something percent. Okay, so the training and the testing images are fixed, right? Uh... So what's the best? Should we make it a goal to get the best, uh, to get the best possible? Uh, so uh, there's a table of some. So this is when 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 was this? 2016. An ensemble of five convolutional neural networks. So I mean, this is really silly, right? So we're fighting over 0.2 percent here. It's a committee of like freaking a six layer. I don't even know what these numbers are. Like, what does this refer to? Is it the amount of features they use or?
So confident, confident, confident. So confident seemed to work relatively well. Can you use on Kaggle? Can you use like Keras and stuff? That would be actually pretty, pretty cool. I trained MOP, got that accuracy in a few hours. State of the art is probably like, uh, I mean, this is a very trivial data set. So it might be interesting actually as an idea to like look at um to look at the to look at the uh test images that are misclassified, right? So we have 10,000 uh test uh, examples and our test accuracy is a uh, point uh, uh our 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 test accuracy if we go to the code uh we have the we have the test accuracy is score uh score 1 so score one times uh, x train shape zero. So score one times uh, x train uh, shape naught is um, score is not defined. Uh, why is score not defined? Right? We have score here. Score should be defined. No, wait, we're not inside a Python. Oh, we're not inside a Python thing at all. Um, of course, so we can only run. Okay, I, I'll have to find like a better way to sync, maybe uh, sync Vim, Google, Google Drive. Oh! Oh, but yeah, so really cool. Uh, I, I honestly think the collab stuff is really cool. Um, I hope you guys think it's really cool. Uh, I enjoyed getting uh, a prototype working. I'm just happy that we actually got something working, right? Uh, I'm just happy that we, we finally got some, some, some code in again. Uh, instead of just doing only theory. And I think that we can definitely... Uh, this is you have to do this per session, right? You have to do this every session. Um, yeah, I'm really satisfied that we were able to get the get uh, a single collab thing up and running. Um, even though it's not our own model. You could uh you could put the contents of the PyFi on code cell and edit it there. Does that work? Alright, let's try. And paste it. And then let's not run this. But we can install everything now, but we don't have to. We can just run this, right? So let's uh let's uh let's take out the dropout, right? Let's let's see what happens when we take out the dropout. So let's let's run this. All right, so it works. That's really cool. That's awesome. What's the batch size? The batch size is like 120 something, right? Uh, and the batch size is... What do we do with the batch size again? Um, I think the batch size is like the amount of training samples you take uh, you take to like train together uh, and then you normalize based on... Like you don't train on all the training, you only train on the batch size and then you normalize the data like based on the batch size. And that should provide some robustness for some reason. I think it's, I don't want to say it's bullshit. It's, it's not bullshit, but it's kind of, it's kind of engineering. Like it's not, 
it doesn't have a strong theoretical basis other than that just saying well it, it works right um but that's just me ranting so uh we with so let's consider the accuracy here we got a point oh oh two um with the dropout of point twenty five um so we got a two percent let's say two point four percent test loss and here we are gonna get so we got a two point four percent test loss so with dropout we have a two point four percent loss without dropout we have an oo we have a 2.5% loss so actually uh it's not even that it's not even that much of a change right we have point uh point oh two five, and here we have point oh four something point oh three eight so the difference is not that big actually but we did remove the dropout, so that's kind of cool. So, uh, huh. -hoo. excuse me. Okay, guys, I have to run. Um, Thank you all so much for joining, um, Lion Decker, Green, uh, and uh, Dark Tower Builder. Maybe some others that haven't chat yet. Uh, this was a quick impromptu stream. It was just a stream to test my new mic. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you have any suggestions, if I should adjust the gain, if I should adjust the volume, uh, if it's too loud, if it's too soft, please let me know and I will change it gladly. Um, I think Dark Tower Builder, I haven't seen you before like if there's anything you want to know about like theor like theory like um you know networks or confnets or whatever um just let me know and i'll try to explain it again actually if any of you need some explanation again i'm happy to explain everything all over again um so yeah i have some great ideas uh i want to train a neural network to uh, recognize uh, paintings from van gogh uh, i think that would be an interesting thing uh, but this is awesome, right? We can now finally start working on models, on deep learning uh, models, and uh, we're going to use uh, Google's resources. So a uh, big shout out to Google there for providing all these resources, in all honesty, because otherwise we would have been dead in the water. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Google. Thank you so much, viewers, for tuning in. I know the stream wasn't that popular because it's, uh, it's kind of streaming on odd hours, right? But... Hey, nothing to do about that. Um, so yeah, again, I want to thank all of you so much. I will be back. I'll probably be back at like, uh, let's say 1730. Probably. Uh, I'll try to type it in the chat. I'm probably going to be back. Uh, and I'll probably do a return stream at 1730. But don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah okay so I have to run thank you so much for watching everyone who wanted to tune in and hang out with me um, I'm very happy uh, and satisfied that we got a um, collab notebook to work um, I'll try definitely to, to try and work on the stream quality maybe I'm going to put it down a bit lower um, such that uh, you guys ha are, are having less lag uh, I hope the lag wasn't too bad in the end. Uh, where, uh, yeah, I, I hope the lag wasn't too bad in, in the in the end. So thank you all for watching. I'll be back. Uh, hasta la vista, baby. See ya. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. See you guys.